Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, pretty decent build right now, honestly, it's running well. Uh, we're going to look at Windows first, a couple of options to make sure that your Windows is properly optimized. And after that, we will go inside of the game. The goal is to have the more FPS possible with a good uh, image quality. So the first thing that I recommend, write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that game mode is at on. Really good for your uh, uh, for for a Ryzen processor. You're gonna make sure that you're using the proper core for your game, so your best core. Also, it get rid of some task when you play some game. You're gonna make sure that you don't have some random updates. Also, so really important to use it. Xbox game bar, I recommend to put this one at off. And also I recommend to don't use any overlay like the Discord overlay, AMD, Nvidia. While it, whatever overlay that you're currently using, I recommend to turn it off. It's causing stuttering, so remove this. After that, for capture, make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. And this is pretty much it for those driver settings, sorry. Uh, now, I'm gonna open this because I have a Radiant card, but if you have an NVIDIA card 1000 series or above, Write graphics setting in your search bar. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. It can give you like a nice 2 to 3% boost in your FPS and also it can remove your stuttering. If you are a streamer and you're playing with OBS, I don't recommend to use that. It was causing me stuttering with my RTX 2070. Uh, but it's only when you stream and when you uh, run OBS. Uh, if you don't do that, make sure this one is at on and you will need to restart your computer to make sure it's applied. Another thing that I really recommend, update your driver. Uh, this one is a big game. It's a game that, that uh, all the, the big manufacturer of uh, video card will support. So go in on the NVIDIA website, AMD, even Intel, if you have an integrated GPU on your CPU, go on their website. Don't just update your driver with the uh, Windows update. You will just have some random generic driver that, that's going to make sure that you're seeing your image on your monitor. So you need proper video games uh, driver. One last thing that I want to mention, it's the energy mode. I recommend to write energy in your search bar. Go to your power option and make sure that you're using something like balance or high performance. On a desktop computer, normally you will not have any issue with this. It will be at balance by default, but it's more for people who are playing on the laptop like Dell, HP, Asus, whatever that the brand. Sometimes it's at power saver or like battery saving, eco mode, whatever. They have like some special word with their driver. And when you plug your laptop in the wall, it doesn't change. It stay at the power saver and you don't want to do that. You want the maximum performance of your computer. So make sure that you're using the balance um, from Windows or high performance. Really important. Uh, and just look at that. I see a lot of people having issue with that. Uh, they're like even when they plug in the wall, they're still keeping the um, battery eco mode and they're losing a lot of power because of that. So now let's open the game and we're going to tweak this amazing game. So now the graphic parameters. So first of all, let's go to video. The first one is the display mode. I really recommend to play this game in full screen. I, I'm getting stuttering when I play in window mode. So this one is good for me. For the resolution, I recommend to play native. So if you are if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have like a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. After that, the resolution scale, I'm playing at 100. Don't go too crazy with the upscale. I was losing a lot of FPS with it. Uh, normally at 100 you should be fine it's one for one ratio uh, after the old guide if you're still struggling with your fps you can dial scale your game but don't go too, too crazy with this one because lower than 90 you will see like a lot of like blurriness pixels and stuff like that so don't go too crazy sharpening is a question of preference uh, by default it will be at six so i just stay at six also anyway i'm using some kind of sharpening with the radiant software but uh, yeah, just do some tests if you want like a clearer image, you can definitely go higher than that. But again, question of preference. Vertical sync, I don't uh, check this one. I'm, I have a free sync monitor with a GPU that it's compatible. Uh, if you're playing free sync, G sync, don't check it. And if you don't have those technology and you don't like tiering when you're playing a game, definitely check this one on. Uh, it will cause a little bit of input lag, but honestly, you're not playing Valorant right now. You're playing Diablo, so definitely check this one. 
For texture quality now, uh, first of all, graphic preset, just put custom because we're going to change a lot of stuff over here. T -t texture quality, if you have like 3 gig of VRAM and more, you can definitely play at very high and 16x with anisotropic filtering. If you have like a 2 gig video card, go at high and 8x. And if you have less than that, definitely go medium and 4x or you can do low and 2x. So just like make sure that anisotropic filtering is following your texture quality over here. But that should, should be an issue in this game, honestly. Ambient occlusion quality, this one will give you a lot of FPS. So normally it's a, approximately 2 to 3% boost for each bracket. So 3%, 3%. At minimum now, you will see 2% at low and off another 2%. So it really depends what you want. But I will tell you, the image quality decreases a lot. So for me, medium is a good spot. You're getting a nice 6% boost in your FPS and you still get a nice, a decent image quality. So it really depends where you are. Like if you really want to play the game and you're playing on the laptop with an integrate uh, video card, probably you will need to put this one at off. But normally medium should be fine. Character quality, this one, not a huge impact. I saw 2% very high to high uh, increase. And after that, I saw 1%. So definitely go with high for this one. Environment uh, detail, this one, nice uh, boost also, 2 to 3% for each bracket. I recommend medium because at low, you will see a big decrease in your image quality. So medium is a Transparency, this one, go with medium. You just have three different brackets. So very high, you can get a nice 2% over here and another 2% at medium. And honestly, I didn't see a big difference between medium and high uh, in the image quality. So definitely go with medium. Shadow quality, huge impact also. It's a bit like ambient occlusion. I recommend to medium because you will get a nice like 6 to 7% boost in your FPS. But if you're still struggling with your FPS in this game, definitely go with low. And uh, yeah, it will help you like another 2 or 2, two to 3% boost. But it uh, really depends like do you prefer image quality versus FPS and how many FPS that you want. And TLE is in, I really like in this game the two, two, uh, T2X or the SMAA, uh, but it's taking a lot of resources. So if you want NTLE easing, I really recommend FXAA. And if you don't mind, you can go at off and you will get another 3% boost versus the FXAA. So it uh, really depends what you want for uh, the game. I recommend to uncheck the dynamic resolution scaling. You don't want to use that. And the VFX lighting quality, you just have two options. So high versus and low. I recommend low. When you will start to play the game, you will not see a big difference. You will say, oh, it's fine at high. But if you're using like a major or even when you're just playing, all those lighting effect will uh, cripple your FPS if you're playing like a, on the low end uh, computer. So definitely go with low. If you have a mid-range computer or higher, you can definitely go with high for this one. The rest of it is pretty much like a um, legacy video option. It will be a tab that you just check and you will have the those legacy uh, graphic setting uh, back from back in the days. But uh, yeah, so you don't need to change anything over here. So that's about it for the Diablo guide. If you have any question, guys, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.